Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shane here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is the authentic July 27th, 2019. Uh, previous video on the channel, I actually said it was July 27th. It was the 26th, all right? Uh, today is going to be my outing number 116 of this year. And if you guys are watching this video, that means that the microphone is still working. I ordered two more new ones and I am kinda improvising for the fishing session today. I don't know how much of the footage is going to turn out to be good or not. So hopefully we're going to have some prime audio in this video, right? Not like the last one. Anyways, I got some leftover shrimp and some leftover clams at home uh, from my saltwater fishing sessions. And it is a Saturday, so you know my mom and my dad they had a little bit of time right they're here on vacation i thought why not take them down to the delaware river so right here i am at the delaware river in bristol i think they call this the bristol wharf or something like that i have never fished this portion of the tidal delaware river so I guess the main goal for today is just to see if there are any, I mean, which species of fish really are around this area. And hopefully, I really wish I could put my mom on a fish that is a little bit bigger because my mom has never caught a fish bigger than a pound, I think. So, I mean, even a catfish today in the range of five to seven pounds would be extremely nice, you know, to show up. So stay tuned. I'm gonna start setting the rods for everybody out here. Hopefully something good is going to show up. This is actually quite interesting. We got the sun right on our faces. It is the morning. I got most rods out there still trying to catch my bait fish for the day. And check that out, huh? My mom is just sitting over there on the chair that we actually bought for my dad. <laughs> I mean, she's not even the handicapped one. And she's sitting on the chair <laughs> there. And this one here is hard at work. So hopefully I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to catch some cut bait soon enough so that I can punch my two bigger rods out there to target some bigger fish. Rapaz, that's my bait right here, man. Come on, bait, come up. Oh, it's on. Please be the bait fish that we need for the day. I need some cut bait. <laughs> I need some cut bait. We've been out here for a little while. Hopefully there's just a little wide perch that I can chop it up and put it on my big rods. Let's see what we got here. A little tiny piece of shrimp all the way out in the Delaware River. I hope it's not a little catfish. Oh, it's a little catfish, man. It's a little channel catfish. I'm not so sure I want to chop it up, a channel catfish to put it down there. I was really expecting maybe a little perch or something. Boy, I don't know. Well, I usually prefer my cut bait to be a little white perch, right? Or a little perch. So the little channel catfish really doesn't do it for me. One of the distinguishing characteristics of a little juvenile channel catfish, right? The black dots on its body. Not to mention, always be careful with the pectoral fins and the dorsal fins, especially on little catfish right they're extremely dangerous and sharp and they will get you all right i got a hit on that rod over here gee man please be a little perch all i need man all i need is a little perch one tiny little perch is it a perch is it my cut bait it's not quite fighting like a catfish, but the last one that we caught was a juvenile. It was fighting pretty weak too, so come on, son. Perch. And it is a, oh my goodness, a little catfish again. All this juvenile little channel caddies, man. Can't even use it as bait. I mean, it's not that I can't use it as bait, folks. I could, of course use the little catfish as cut bait i just prefer not to i have used channel catfish as cut bait in the past and they have not done so well for me please don't be another catfish 
And I just need one little cut bait. That's all. One little cut bait. Oh, this may be it. It feels more like a perch. This may just be the cut bait that we've been looking for. Wait, is the fish even on? I think so. Something very small, very tiny. Oh, this is it. This is it. Can't lose it. Can't lose it. Yeah. Okay. Now we're talking, man. Little Morone Americana. Got my cut bait. Finally. Second species of the day. Time to chop this dude up. Oh, hell yeah. Now that I got my cut bait over here, it is finally time to slay. I can actually take the shrimp off. You see, I got a little tiny piece of shrimp over here. I got two heavier rods, one with three ounces and one with four ounces. This one right here, I'm gonna put the whole perch head through the top and the bottom of the mouth. Oh man, it's gonna be good, bro. Little circle hook, you know? There we have it. If the catfish hits it, it's gonna be an automatic hook set. I'm gonna cast the four ounces out as far as I can, man. I don't know, I think it's the same depth out there, but you just never know, right? Ah, there we go. Sink it all the way down. Yeah, it's actually pretty deep. Decent, ooh, yeah, we got a hole over here. Not bad, 15, 15 feet. If this one screams, nice fish. Oh, this one had a bite. I think it's on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that, it's another species. More cut bait. Well, that is weird though. This is the Delaware River right over here. And we just caught our third species of the day. A red breast sunfish. The Lepomis auditus. This is not even a creek. This is the river. Very interesting. Let me tell you, this fella lucky that I got my cut bait for the day. This is my first ever red breast sunfish from the tidal Delaware River. This is crazy. I have never ever caught a red breast sunfish from the tidal Delaware. I guess it's a first thing, first time for everything. Ah, uh, mama, tio, like a show, you know, huh? My mom finally got one, a little silvery fish. That's her first fish of the day. She's walking, <laughs> she's walking over here now, boy. Finally, let's see what she got, huh? No, 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 she was a croaker. She said it's a croaker. It's a white perch. What was okay? I'm gonna release it over here for her. Little white perch, her first fish of the day, man. I really want her to catch something a little bit bigger on the bigger rods, but the bigger rods have been so quiet, folks. So quiet. Oh. Uh. 对，我刚才看到动了一下刚才，哦，耶耶，对对对，啊，little one，哦，it's on， another sunfish，wow， little striper， 小鲈鱼 ，little striped bass man，so this one I can't take， just take a photo and release it right away， dudes， even on days that I just want my parents to catch some catfish。it turns out to be multi-species little striper that is going to one day become a cape cod 55 pounder is swimming back into the <laughs> to the delaware river all right that was like what uh third species fourth species of the day man uh, interesting, another red breast sunfish. So I'm talking to my family in moving some of our fishing rods because uh, apparently they have some kind of Puerto Rican parade over here in Bristol that I had absolutely no idea and people are running out of parking spots over here. So 
I don't want to take their parking spots. Here's not really supposed to be parking, but anyways, I don't want to take it. I may go to the front there where my mom's at. Goodness gracious, fishing with the family. There are so many rods that I need to transfer. So I got here my father's rod, which got the Shimano Tunus. I got here my regular rod, the pink St. Croix. I got my ultralight rod with the Shimano Sedona. My mother's rod is over here. I got two cut bait rods over there. We got to move over here. Crooper Kids got the Cast King cheap Calamus, right? Because the parking lot is getting filled and I don't want to take the space. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Gotta hit. It's on. It's on, son. But I think it's a little catfish. I mean, it feels like a catfish. <laughs> Quite disappointed today that the bigger rods are not getting hits. The bigger catfish do not want to come out and play. Yeah, I'm almost positive this is a catfish. It's fighting 100% like a catfish. Oh, it's an eel. What? It's another species for today. It's an American eel. Look at it. Oh, man. I hate when they tangle my line. So, got to be careful with this one. All right, all right. Don't tangle my line, okay? Don't tangle my line. I'm going to ask my mom for some help in unhooking this eel. This is a species number five of this video. We got here the Anguilla hostrata. Um, I hate when they get my line, so try to unhook it over here, ninja style. Oh yes, there we go. Pardon my mishandling of the fish, but if this fish get hooked on the line, it's even worse for their slime coat and everything else. So uh, it's walking like a snake. Look at that. Dude, Anguilla hostrata is vicious, so I, oh, real easy. I gotta do the regular throw. Throw of the death, man. So I don't get slimed too badly. Dude, I'm waiting for the big catfish to show up. Got cut bait on those two rods. Five species is like the curse of the multi species. The big fish just do, they don't want to come out and play. I mean, that is not to say that the action out here is not hot. This is my last piece of shrimp from the leftover shrimp and uh, my sister actually left the clam in the car so after that, after this little piece of shrimp is really cut bait time I don't know how much longer we're going to stay out here too My dad is in front there kinda exercising while fishing, interesting and my mom is just on her phone Bro, I don't know, maybe it's about time to go get some lunch and gentlemen do you hear that apparently the Puerto Rican festival has just begun the 27 here Bristol it said 12 to 8 so you know what we got one two three four five six seven rods in the water and no action thus far for the big fish it is 12 p.m. right now it is getting toasty out here and I hope my outro doesn't get copyrighted by whatever Latino song is bad in the ba get in the backyard, right? Uh, Multi-species wise, it was a great day. Can never escape the multi-species. I got like five different species from the river today, right? But in terms of big fish, they just didn't show up. So yeah, it's getting toasty. My parents are getting hot. It is about lunchtime. It is time for me to pack my stuff check out the Puerto Rican festival and hopefully next time when I take my parents out we're actually going to land something decent it was my first time fishing this portion of the Delaware River so it's all new to me as well maybe today was just a bad day and maybe they do have very decent catfish over here right you just never know anyways it is getting loud out here thank you very much for watching folks I appreciate it tight lines and take it easy there's one there's one oh my goodness that's a nice fish this is the best fish of the day do the bit all the way in the spillway what is this holy cow dude Ooh, nice bass nice bass Ooh, bro I'm using four pound test bro I'm terrified right now. 
Bro, I'm terrified right now. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my goodness, dude. 